So here's an example of how we use our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in Chapter 8 called the Margin of Error for a Confidence Interval for a Mean to construct an interval. Now this one happens to be asking you to report it as a trilinear inequality. Other times they ask you to report it in parentheses separated by a comma. Sometimes they also ask you to report it as your sample mean plus or minus your margin of error. I'll show you all three of those methods. So assume that a sample is used to estimate a population mean. Find the 99.5% confidence interval. So that means since it's for a mean and we have a sample standard deviation, not a population standard deviation, this is a T interval. I know this is a sample standard deviation because the sentence is saying sample size of 701 with a mean of 52.6 and a standard deviation of 5.6. All of that information about the sample is contained within that one sentence. So confidence intervals for means will use T when we have a sample standard deviation. Key is, is you've got, to you've got to convert that percentage of confidence level to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So find the 99.5% confidence interval for a sample of size 701, so sample size is 701, mean of 52.6, and standard deviation of 5.6. Enter your answer as a trilinear inequality, accurate to three decimal places. So now we can see our interval. There is the margin of error. This is the amount that gets added to and subtracted from the sample mean to get the lower boundary and the upper boundary. So as a trilinear inequality, we would enter this as lower boundary, 52.004, to upper boundary, 53.196, rounding to three decimal places. In parentheses, we could just enter, and this not for this question, but for others, we could just enter lower boundary, 52.004, comma, upper boundary, 53.196, close paren. As a uh, point estimate plus or minus our margin of error. We would enter our point estimate, which is our sample mean, and then plus or minus, and they have the, the keys to, that you can use to enter there. Oops, I didn't like that. Uh, plus or minus, I'll just leave that out, and then margin of error, um, which is point, uh, five nine six. But in this case, they're wanting us to write it as a trilinear inequality.